Hey everyone, welcome to Carrie's Garage, and on this episode we're going to mess around with the Rambler a bit. So it's already been a week since I got the Rambler, I picked it up last Saturday, and over this last week I've been spending some time with it, doing some work on the ignition system, the fuel pump, even wet sanding the paint a little bit, getting some of the blue off down to the original pink. So there's going to be some of the videos, and then today we're going to maybe see if we can even drive it. All right, well, we're here with the Rambler. Yesterday after I got it, I just kind of was messing around with it, threw a battery in it, cranks over, check the oil. Definitely need to change the oil, but I uh, wasn't getting any spark. I just want to see if I can get it to fire to life a little bit. So today I decided to do a little bit of uh, digging to see what was going on. The distributor's down there. I really need to spend a bit of time and clean the engine compartment, but for now I just wanted to mess around with this. The distributor's in a really kind of annoying, hard to reach place, but it's not too bad to access. So what I've done so far is I verified that we have electricity going to the coil. I did ohm out the coil, and uh, it's decent. I probably need to replace it. And down at the points, we have power down there as well but I don't really get any spark from it. So it looks like the points are really dirty. So I found my points burnisher. I wanna see if I can clean them up a little bit and check the gap and see if I can get spark. All right, got a little bit of carb cleaner on this rag. Let's see if we can get it between the points. Kinda of clean up the points. They look a little oily, so that would definitely indicate why we're not getting any spark. And now let's take the points burnisher which really all it is is just a small strip of metal that's kind of like a, almost a fine file basically. So we get into the points like that and we just that looks a lot better than it did. All right, with the key on, I have the uh, coil wire going to the distributor just loose. Let's see if we can crank it over real quick and see if we get anything. So it was pretty faint. I got a little bit of a spark coming out of here. So I'm definitely going to need to replace these uh, spark leads and probably just take the points out and fully clean them and check the adjustment. But it had enough of a spark that it might actually start. So let's uh, take the air cleaner off and just spray a little bit of carb cleaner down there and see if it spits or anything. We're sitting in the car. I have to sit in because this uh, gear shift has a fun uh, problem of just popping into drive. So I'm gonna make sure it doesn't do that. So let's see if it just spits or does anything. Hey, look at that. It sputtered. I think it's actually gonna run. Well, I went ahead and just put a little bit of gas in the carburetor through that vent right there. So let's see if it'll actually putter and run for a second. So messing around with the Rambler a bit, I discovered that I'm not getting any fuel coming out of the fuel pump. So I kind of looked at it a little bit and um, it appears like the actuator isn't moving the diaphragm up and down. So I'm going to take this all apart and see if it's something that I can fix or maybe that diaphragm will work on that one, which I discovered this fuel pump that was in the trunk is actually for a 61, 62-ish Rambler, but it will still work. So I'm going to go ahead and take them apart and see if I can do anything. If not, then I'm going to have to order a rebuild kit or get a remanufactured one. But let's see if I can make it work.
So I got the fuel pump back in. Looks like it's leaking a little bit, but I gotta tighten up the screws. Just got a dummy fuel tank right there. So let's see what it does. I did crank it a little bit and I did get it to fire just for a moment, but let's see what it does. How about that? All right, put some water in the radiator, fill up the transmission, kind of get a rig to fuel system. So let's see if it'll actually drive. tense moment. Will it keep running? Because <laughs> it won't restart. <laughs> What's up? Oh. What? Hey, man, but we're driving. That's cool. How are we going to turn around if it's stalling? That might be a really good chance. Oh, uh, it smells like gas. Did you bring a fire? Sure. Okay, we're good. What's that red light? The generator's not charging. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a cool car. Really cool car. I like it. <laughs> oh, don't stall it. Oh. That'll wrap up this video for the Rambler. We were able to get it running, moving at its own power, and we actually took it for a little drive. It's super exciting. First time it's been driven since I think 1983. Still have a bit left to do to it. The starter is really weak, and when it gets warm, it doesn't want to crank over. The water pump is leaking, and got a little bit of stuff to do to it. You know, kind of to be expected on a car that's for a long time. If you see behind me, I've been uh, wet setting it a whole bunch, getting the blue off and getting it back to the pink as much as I can. I'm probably gonna primer the top for a while just to kind of protect it. But thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below, ask any questions, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.